Capricorn, how you doing? I just had a sneezing fit. <laughs> how are you? I'm also hearing Sneezeby or Michelle or Mika or M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Jason, Jackie, Jasmine. But Sneezeby, uh, I don't know, <laughs> a B, something to do with B, Brian, anybody beginning with B. Uh, B and B. Okay, so some of you might be, uh, <coughs> might be, <laughs> some of you might be going to a B and B, like a bed and breakfast. And you might be staying away somewhere. You can watch this as a Gemini or so, by the way. But if you don't understand why, you're just looking for life path sixes, Gemini's, Capricorns. But we're doing Capricorn. You're all sixes. Um, so if you've got this in your chart and you're going away, or Charlotte, I'm also in the name Charlotte. Uh, but B and B, bed and breakfast. So some of you might be going away, staying away for like a weekend, dirty weekend or something like that. And uh, you could be, like I said, you could be doing a bit bed and breakfast. Okay, bed and breakfast. Uh, staying away for a weekend or a week. I'm also hearing the weekends. So that's also a band, right? So some of you might be into music, making music, or a band of brothers, or your brother is in a band, or your mother is in a band, I don't know. But band on the run. John? Paul, Paul McCartney, Pauline, Joe, Jody. I think we're just going to go through the same names, really, for a lot of you. I really do keep picking up, though, as well, in your reading and another one, that someone's expecting a bye-bye and that all these names keep coming up where someone's trying to choose a name between a baby or waiting for something to be delivered. Because that could also be like D&B, and B&D, and uh, what do you call it, like delivery service. Uh, so it might be where you've ordered a load of stuff and you're waiting for it to be delivered. <coughs> or... Um, or there's a baby that's coming and you're kind of like looking for names and stuff like that and blah, blah, blah. You might even call it Brian or anybody beginning with B. I don't really know. Uh, but I definitely keep hearing like name changing or like chain, keep changing someone's name. Or some of you keep changing public profile pictures or changing your names. They keep saying like, I'm changing my name. I'm changing my appearance. I'm changing this. I'm changing that. It really could be dealing with like a life path four, Scorpio or Aries placement. I would say more Scorpio. Um, but like I'm changing my profile pictures, I'm changing my house, my home, my outfits, and I'm changing. This is van. It's something to do around vanity here. Like keep changing public public profile pictures or something. Or I don't know. Or looking at thumbnails or something. I don't know. But like I seem to be changing my appearance. Okay, so it could be on a good level or a, a, a I don't know on a vanity level. I really don't know. It's up to you whether you're doing that kind of thing, but. I'm kind of picking up like stuff around like Facebook changing, altering faces and stuff like that and pixels and like I'm changing my face and making my face look different and stuff and like pixels into arts, crafts or someone that's very crafty and they change pixels of pictures and stuff. What do you know? <laughs> um, but they keep saying like I'm changing pixels on a picture like I'm using pixel art or uh, Photoshop editing or into I mean I don't know you could be just doing this like I do for videos okay you make music videos and you do videos or you use thumbnails for like you know oh look at me I'm doing a tarot reading <laughs> you know unless you are doing this kind of stuff I just realized man that this light here is really shining right in my face um yeah, so something around, like I said, uh, like I don't know if this is a vanity thing, and this is like you know I'm taking loads of photographs of myself, and then I'm entering like into a beauty pageant or something. I don't know, but like uh, I take multiple photographs of myself, and then I put them into a pixel art, and then change the pixels of like photos and stuff like that. So I don't know what they are for. But they're saying that you're probably going through loads of photographs, okay? So that could be a photo collage or um, Elijah, Lee, Laura, Lucy, Lucifer, Capricorn, they're saying you guys. So I don't know if there's vanity that is the way that keeps... I'm just going to leave it because I think I'm probably treading on light ground about talking people's vanity and, and everything. Okay, so anyway, let's just get on with your reading and see what you've got coming up. Um... Capricorn, something rising between the stupid and north node, life path sixes, or you might find the same representation if you're following my teaching tier and you know about numerology. Okay, so which would mean Gemini. Okay, so let's see. Um, Gemini, uh, Capricorn. Capricorn, what have they got coming up for July, please? July, shall I lie? Someone's lying. Oh dear, it could be that person. I don't know. That's the only card that's in reverse. So you got maybe set well you got Sagittarius, maybe Taurus, life path five energy. This is someone spiritually ill. We've just gone over this in um the teaching tier around um like 
uh, dark empaths, like learning to have empathy but not having any. So I'm also hearing sympathy or symphony or Cynthia, but this is someone that's very ill, very ill. Now this can also be very spiritually ill as well, spiritually ill, because this is a dark empath. This can be an empath and an angel. Okay, I don't know how these ring lights are supposed to make it easier to, for you to see when it makes it fucking harder. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I definitely keep hearing like um, a dark empath, okay? Someone that's spiritually connected onto someone like a virus. So you could be very ill, you could have a virus, you could have like, say, COVID. You could be very ill, this can be sick, like like have a an internal illness. It could be something like cancer, cancer. You know, and I'm, you know, if you're shy to all of this and you're thinking, oh my God, am I going to catch it? Then you shouldn't really be watching terror. I'm on about for the people that know that they're really ill. Okay. Um, it could be you, someone in the family that could really be ill. There could be the loss of a loved one and someone's gone to the spirit in the sky. Silver, Sylvia, Steve, Sarah, Sassy. It doesn't have to be those names, but I'm definitely picking up someone that's like a, uh, so there's two aspects, someone that could have lost somebody, okay, and there would be a funeral, and it would be, you know, somebody that's lost here, it could be, it could be involving a Virgo, or a life path nine, maybe, okay, now if you're not relating to any kind of messages of relatives, or anyone that's lost someone, then there is something here around spiritually ill, where you've contracted some sort of You'll have to follow the teachings here where I've been going over the Seven of Cups, right? The dark passenger that connects onto someone that makes them spiritually ill, that leaves and tarnishes their energy with something that has drained them, okay? So this is where Divine Feminines will start saying that the Divine Masculine is draining me. <laughs> but it's really a spiritual awakening. It's just replacement and attachment. You've just attached the spiritual awakening by attaching it to another energy source and without it, you're detoxing. So there is detoxing with like uh, energy, basically. So you could be detoxing from drugs or alcohol, or this person could. Okay, you could be trying to stop smoking or eating and detoxing. But some of you could really, really, really be detoxing from uh, a spiritual connection that ended up being really karmic and it's left you with some kind of... Um, well, it's not going to be, a, well, it could be, like it could, like I said, it could be uh, an STD or an STI also is also what I'm hearing. I'm also picking up artificial intelligence as well, okay, artifacts, artificial intelligence. Um, so I don't know, what, you 007? <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, CIA, I don't know, is what I'm picking up, some weird energy. Uh, okay, I'm also picking up radiation, radiotherapy, radio, radio, <laughs> angel radio, but uh, radiotherapy. Do you want to listen? Here we go, Capricorn, before we get on with your... Um, <laughs> Codeine in my cup, there's a heroin addict here. Okay, so I'm also a music producer. If you, if that was too loud, I do apologise. But I'm also a music producer. So through this, it's actually called "I Run with the Orphans with Codeine in My Cup." So I'm definitely picking up through that going cold. There could be some sort of addiction to codeine, methadone, uh, DF one one eight. What do you guys call it? Where you take tablets in America that are like heroin. Uh, m and and all that kind of stuff were, were addicted to it. <laughs> Quite a few people in America could have been taking those at some point. Um, I forget what they call them. Uh, but here it would be methadone, <coughs> uh, subutex, all that kind of stuff, replacement. Uh, so like I said, there's some kind of like morphine addiction here and you could be detoxing away from heroin, drugs, uh, alcohol. But there's also a spiritual contracted disease of an ex energy here as well, where it's left you tarnished. Okay, I'm also hearing Tanya, Tanya, Great Britannia, uh, Britain, also someone from Britain. Um, but yeah, contracted some kind of... Uh, you're going to have to watch the teachings here because I go right into depth in that. If you are very... If you're interested and you don't really know, just look out for the little um, <coughs> insights that I do. I, I post an insight to give you like a, a I don't know, a five-minute video just to let you know that I'm posting a video that's teaching and what it will be about and you can find interesting and you might want to join, it's up to you. Okay, but they are on here. So let's see. Um, Capricorn, what's Capricorn got coming up? Capricorn. 
Uh, so six of cups, so it really could be in the family. Like I said, it, for some of you, it is that someone's gone off maybe with another person. Man, these lights are shit. Um, hold on a sec, Capricorn. I've got to turn this off. <laughs> what is going on? Hold on a minute. Let me turn it down a little bit. Okay, there you go. It's probably because it's too bright. Um, yeah, so someone in the family could have lost a family member. Gemini, Capricorn. Okay, it doesn't have to be you, but it could be someone that you know has lost someone. Spirit in the sky, silver spirit in the sky. Some of you have contracted some kind of like disease of some kind. Now, like I said, it could be an STD, an SDI. It could be someone that's, because uh, this is burning. So it could be thrush, anything like that also for a lot of you. I know that is a very... Uh, sorry if it's very personal for a lot of people, but that's like doesn't women get that a lot through like bathing and showering and stuff like that? And you have to make sure that you use certain soaps and things. So there's some kind of like uh, sorry if that's really personal for you guys, but I'm definitely picking up like burning something that is burning. Okay, because it's definitely heat and hot. Um, so some of this burning could be thrush, something like that. But it, so that's not really an STI or STD, <laughs> okay? Uh, unless it's contracted by a male to a female, but uh, female to male. There is a cross gender energy here, is also what I'm now channeling. Is some kind of like cross contamination. So cross contaminating contamination, contamination. Now it could be spiritually sick and ill. Uh, but it could also be like a cross-contaminated something that you're eating or you're having and you're mixing it, okay? You're mixing your drinks or mixing your drugs, okay? Or you're mixing and mastering, okay, which would be this. Uh, Dr. Mix, um, so it'd be Claudia. I don't know. There's some kind of Claudia. There's there's some kind of um, contracted disease here. Now, like I said, I really hope it isn't serious like HIV or something like that here. Uh, but, you know, it really could be because I'm kind of picking up, like, someone that could have HIV, you know, um, could have jaundice, uh, uh, hepatitis, okay? So I'm really kind of picking up that somebody may have caught some kind of, like, a uh, disease here. Uh, generally, that could also be, like I said, it could be someone that's lost a family member. And if it isn't anything to do with ST, you know, STIs, STDs, whatever, um then it's someone that's lost someone in the family here, yeah, more than likely. And if it isn't that, it's someone that's contracted a spiritual disease of karmic energy, okay, karmic energy. Okay, let's see. Um, Gemini, uh, sorry, Capricorn. I really do keep picking up Gemini, but I always do that when I do sixes. Um, let's see, Capricorn for July. Uh, so seven of wands man what is going on these are not in reverse as well there's probably like one or two <laughs> i'm not kidding you there's like one or two <clears throat> you've got some kind of fucking mixed up energy man like i really I, i've got no idea what's going on like it feels like that everything is coming left field okay left field like at you left right and center now it really could be karmic energy of like an outcome of where someone's life is spiraling okay spiral now uh, i'm also hearing spinal tap so it might be something around music or, or deaf like someone or steph stephanie steve sarah or something to do with someone's hearing hearing aid or hearing uh, i'm also hearing for <laughs> for a lot of you um uh spinal like a spine like something down the spine is what i've got which is uh an extremely bad back and i've been doing stretches and kind of yoga stuff in order to get rid of sciatica any of you got sciatica right have you ever tried putting your leg up right this leg here is on here over to here right lifting it up so this one is pointing outward okay and then pull it in so this leg pulls that oh man it's so good it really does get rid of sciatica it's one of the best stretches that i ever know okay um but yeah anyway so let's go i'm also having rebecca also rebecca um or Rebea shard Rebea rashad um there could be detoxing and alcohol kind of stuff and try not to drink here um but yeah what was i what was i uh also that was coming through um yeah someone's very difficult to reproach here because someone's not learning a boundary like I said, there's something here where you may say yes all the time and you constantly keep saying yes and you haven't learned a boundary around no, okay? Or you're being told or said no all of the time and you've actually not learned anything about equality to say yes, okay? 
they are lessons, yes and no, they're boundaries, okay? Um, because if you say yes every time and you're constantly always being, you know, used, okay? Someone's using here, using, using, or feels used and abused. Oh, okay, I'm also hearing sexually abused. Oh, okay, what on earth is going on, Capricorn? You could have a Pisces placement, dealing with the Pisces. I'm also hearing, like, sexually abused or, um, what the fuck is going on, man? Sorry, Capricorn. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up like ment uh, mental disorder here. Well, I mean, for me, it's bipolar. I do have bipolar. I've not been diagnosed by given anything yet by the doctors, but I'm actually seeing a, a, a mental health practitioner about bipolar because my levels, this could just be something quite simple like this, guys. Okay, that uh, levels, feeling really energetic, right? Spending loads of energy and then like crash and got no energy at all. And then loads of energy and then no energy at all. And then loads of energy and no energy at all. So if you guys are not, you know, you're not dealing with any kind of weird sort of like channel stuff that I've said, it really could be things like um, ADHD or bipolar that you could be suffering from, okay? And your energy levels are kind of like up and down. One minute I'm okay, the next minute I'm not okay at all. And then the next minute I'm right up here. I've got loads of energy. I'm spending it all, blah, blah, blah which leads to overspending money, <laughs> okay, so you, like, you indulge in spending loads of money and spending habits, okay, and then you can also, like I said, have eating disorders and stuff, you can end up having sleep apnea, and all of that comes hand in hand with, like, bipolar, because your energy is, like, really high, and you can't sleep, and then when you crash, you sleep all the time, okay, and then when you do that, you can have sleep apnea, which, are, and it spirals, like, you get, like, depression, Okay, too much energy, not enough, which is then depression. Then you can have like high moments and then you can end up spending loads of money because you feel good and it kind of patches up a feeling and it's like spiraling. It's something, like I said, for a lot of you, it could be a mental mental health that you kind of like going through here and also possibly going through a third party and going through some kind of like spiritual awakening that seems to be, like I said, when you're going through spiritual awakenings, Everybody like smart. The, what's his name? Ralph Smart and everybody. You know, it's got two hundred billion kind of followers and five reasons why you want to be spiritually awoken. Not actually telling you that they're fucking awful. <laughs> okay, sleepless nights, bit really very uh, anxious, paranoid. Okay, can end up leading to like schizophrenia. Okay, noticing about narcissism, gaslighting. Okay, thinking everybody's out to get me. Paranoia. Okay, headaches. Fucking crying like out of nowhere and god knows what else and feeling very paranoid isolated five reasons what happens when you have a fucking spiritual awakening <laughs> right so um yeah but we will go to generally what this could also mean for you guys uh let's see um capricorn for july this is why I kind of step. What the Jesus, man? Am I doing something wrong here? <laughs> I can't be. They are all in the upright. I know this was definitely in the uh, like reverse. I know it was definitely in reverse. They are all upright. You, you've just, <laughs> I've got to go with it. We went over this in the random reading. This is tablets and stuff like that. This is a, like an uh, your vibration is up and flat. There's definitely bipolar. Uh, it could be multiple personality disorder, okay? Law and order, order, Laura. But like um, multiple personality disorder. This is also loss, okay? This is not fair. Uh, it's like tablets, taking tablets. I went over this in a goddamn random reading. Um, too much saying yes, too much. Spending too much energy and just saying yes and not saying no, or saying no all the time and passing everything up. And just saying, no, 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 I'm not listening. No, 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 I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. No, I'm not. No, no, no. And you've not learned a better quality about saying yes, okay? About forgiveness, okay? Was I hearing an ill nurse or someone that's a nurse? I don't know why they get me to look at a very strange energy of a nurse here. Because this is like giving someone tablets. And then this is also kind of giving them the wrong diagnosis here. Like wrong like, uh, I don't know why they keep getting me to look at, like, films with nurses that, that, um, I don't know. I don't know. I keep picking up that someone's tampering, like, 
dealing or tampering with something that they shouldn't be, like medicines and like experimenting with like guinea pig type sort of like, right, we're going to use you as a guinea pig and we're going to ply you full of all of these wrong tablets. And uh, it's like making people fucking ill. Or this is, like I said, it's it's people that go around telling you to like put fucking egg and fucking put dark thoughts into an egg. <laughs> it's making you spiritually fucking ill here. <clears throat> spiritually ill. Witchcraft is not a thing, Capricorn. It doesn't exist. It's not real, okay? The more you keep thinking it's real, definitely when you're having a fucking spiritual awakening, your mind is as fragile as a fucking egg. I know that one, right? But what I am telling you here is some of you here are spiritually ill, like you've done too much of something, or someone's overdosed and took too much, or like there's a there's some kind of... Um, I don't know, Capricorn. I really, I've got this feeling where, it, like, the messenger is shoot the messenger, <laughs> blame the person that speaks the truth. Some of you guys have lost your mind. I'm just putting it out there. Oh, this person has. I don't know. There is also grief and loss. Okay, on a moderate level, there's also grief and loss, but not everybody's going to be going through grief and loss. But somebody here has equivocably had some kind of emotional, physical, mental uh, breakdown of um, being. <laughs> well, I mean, look, it says what it says on the tin, bruv. Somebody is like, this could be like where someone's dropped something in someone's drink here. Or like giving someone like too many tablets or they've overdosed or, uh, I don't know, giving someone wrong advice. And like, <laughs> like it was that nutter that was a while back that was saying that, you know, they're a tarot reader and that they... um They'd got a cure, magic cure for, you know, they'd fucking, oh God, there's another one. We've caught angelic light and we've put it in a bottle and we're going to fucking, <laughs> we're going to um, sell you it all for like 180 quid. And we've caught angelic light and it's a crystal called angelic light. And we're fortunate enough that our brand sells it. I mean, fuck off. Get away from this channel with your fucking 280 million subscribers that you're brainwashing. Because it ain't welcome round here. I'd rather have no job than I would fucking do that. <laughs> right, we've caught angelic light and we're selling you it all as consumers. We've caught angelic light and we're going to sell you it for 180 quid in a box. Really? What a fucking load of shit, angelic light. God, man. People these days, this is where I get to fucking tr get it in a fucking ear roll from people. Oh, but I like them. You've got fucking no idea. <laughs> right, uh, anyway, I don't know. I'm picking up that someone has lost their mind through the spiritual kind of fucking stuff here. They've also, there's like someone, there was another one, what was it, I think they were a Taurus person? I don't fucking, I don't know the names of these people. But they were saying that they'd found the, the spiritual cure for COVID. <laughs> the spiritual cure for COVID. All you need to do is watch my channel and buy my spiritual fart spray, and you just spray it all over you, and you won't be fucking COVID anymore, because I'm spiritual, <laughs> and I have a YouTube channel that I read cards, okay, what a fucking absolute load of brainwashing bullshit, okay, like I say man, some people do anything to sell shit, I don't know, I don't know whether this is going to relate to you or not, if it isn't, there is something around, like I said, ADHD, bipolar, and that kind of stuff, right? just general kind of stuff but there is something here around spiritually <laughs> oh i'm staying out of it this is half the reason why i kind of stayed off youtube for a little bit because i hate getting into these uh where the cards are telling me so much and i'm kind of like fuck i mean what do i do tell the truth or do i literally just kind of like just let everybody not tell them the messages and just let them keep doing it to themselves here there's self-harm there is something to do with selfish, self-harm, cutting one's skin, foreskin, something to do with around, um, I don't know, Jewish or um, a circumcision or something like that. Uh, four. Like it's coming from, they keep saying a four energy, like Scorpio Aries or life path. I don't know, like that could be death card, like I said, that could be someone that lost someone and there's grieving here, okay, uh, Capricorn, Nine of Swords, 
oh, what on earth is going on with you, Capricorn? Uh, Capricorn for July. Five of, Jesus Christ, man. I hate these kind of readings. You can't even see the cards, man, because now I'm trying to, like, people are like, Steve, you need to come back on the camera so we can see you sweating your ass off with this light. <laughs> You've got like, you know, temperance in reverse, you've got the six of cups, the seven of wands in reverse, the three of swords, six of pentacles in reverse, the nine of swords and the five of pentacles. There's abandonment, there's like worry, schizophrenia, panic. It doesn't have to be you, it could be the other person, it could be nobody, it could be the family, it could be a soul group energy. There is spiritually ill, there is like loss, there's uh, abandonment, rejection, codependency, drug addiction. Alcohol abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse. And if it isn't any of that, and that's all way too drastic, it is literally just a... Uh, man, I can't get away with it. Somebody here is diagnosed. It's like looking for a diagnosis or is is serving someone up, like serving someone but a hand of bullshit. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. It's, it's abandonment. It's rejection, abandonment, messed it all up, regret, living in regret, probably still very angry, can't find a relationship or don't want a relationship and I've got a very bad opinion about people. And I mean, people are weird. Jim Morrison said it and he is true. Like empathy isn't that you have to have empathy for everybody. Just because you're a spiritual sp person, I'm supposed to have empathy for everybody. No, of course not. You have empathy for very nice people, okay? But people that treat you like shit, no, you don't have to have empathy for those sort of people. They're the ones that go down. They're the dark empaths, man. You know, y'all got to learn about dark empaths. Um, let's see. Convincing that I'm a spiritual twin flame, <laughs> right? Comes along in order to contract a disease of contract. There's a disease here, man. I can't, I can't get away from it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's present now or if it's a future energy. But there's some kind of like disease here or something that's being spread, okay? Spreading it. Capricorn for July. Please be a good card. The Queen of Swords. <laughs> I've got no idea, Capricorn. I, I so want to give everybody good, nice readings, but... I don't know. If it don't relate to you, watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Some of you might have to go to court. It's just, there's difficult parenting. It's like your family karma could have really gone to like, right, okay. You know, the love life's gone wrong with a twin flame, okay, and a spiritual person. And now I'm left in like karmic energy of family where my family is, you know, the karma's turned on me and it's now turned to my family, you know. Something you can't avoid, no matter where you go and what you do. Even if you isolate yourself away, you go through karmic energy. Temperance in reverse. Sometimes I hear your voice. I mean, there is. There's this, someone that's like been turned down spiritually, okay, spiritually, and is kind of like listening to all sorts of stuff, right? Tap, trying to tap in a um, spinal tap. It could be a water sign. Sometimes I hear your voice. Uh, I couldn't tell you face to face. They didn't show their face. Okay, they're a trick, a fool. Okay, I never show. I never could tell you anything because I never even shoot my shoot shoot. Shoo. <laughs> I never showed my face at all. So it could be a catfish, someone that just never showed their face. Okay, I'm not going to keep going over it. Same shit. Never showed my face. Being a spiritual karmic energy. Okay, six of cups. Uh, your body language says so much. Okay, so again, it probably does. It probably means piss off here. <laughs> you know, your body language and everything means so much. It does. Like I said, if you don't show up, how can you tell a person's real or fake when you go through these? You need to show up with action and be in the present, the physical energy, not the metaphysical. The longer you stay out of metaphysics, the longer your brain will be washed and brainwashed with fuck knows where. Like, how long has it been since I've come back? 
It's pretty much like staring at a computer game, okay, like kids do. Okay, when you're metaphysically connected to people, your mind can be out there for so long that by the time you get back, you think, fuck, where have I been? <laughs> right? So that can be like parts of a spiritual awakening. But like, you know, what it's saying is, is that I couldn't tell you face to face. I just have to try and tap in and tell you spiritually. Right? But your body language says it all, which means that if the person isn't, isn't, isn't in the present, then there's just this energy of just, I don't know, it's like metaphysical. Doesn't make any sense. The sense that makes none. I couldn't tell you face to face, I'm spiritually ill, psychically strange or something, I don't know. I couldn't tell you face to face, which means I can't tell you where you're there and I'm here and you're telling me there. <clears throat> so no, so something here hasn't come into the physical at all, okay? Because your body language says it all. Unless you are living with this person and they look ill, like they actually look ill, like they're very thin, very gaunt, or I don't know, just like like i don't know just pale or or whatever i don't know just don't look very well okay uh seven of wands in reverse uh, i wondered how far this would go not very far because someone's learned a lesson with the seven of wands in reverse and said no to cut the energy off has literally cut it off okay so I wonder how far it will go. Well, not very. Because uh, uh, I'm kind of hearing, I wondered what lengths you would go. Three of Swords. I need to focus, some of you are just focusing on your spiritual healing stuff there. <laughs> six, of, uh, six of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, I am not coming back. You see, none of this makes any sense at all. This is where a lot of you are like, okay, I need to pull my energy back and centre. Okay, <laughs> sorry, but man, you know, none of that stuff is actually, you can't avoid spiritual awakening. You go for it, no matter like, okay, I need to centre myself, breathe, okay, meditate, great, all that sort of stuff is brilliant, but you still will never ever stop going through karmic energy. You won't, no matter what you do, you're still going to go through it, okay? It's a substance that's metaphysical. You can't get rid of it, you can't see it, you can't change back the hands of time, it doesn't exist, you can't see anything. It's just all created by an, a mind and a feeling of an awakening, okay? So during your, your awakening, you can go through physical and mental attacks, like spiritual attack, okay? So you can have panic attacks, anxiety, and, uh, and then it's kind of like this fear that kicks in of like, well, I'm not even coming back anyway. Or someone's kind of like, I am not coming back into this scenario here. Not on your Nelly, am I not? No. So, you know, there's your answers there because the Six of Pentacles in reverse is saying, I haven't got time to go through all this anymore. I'm sick to death of it. I've learned a lesson already. The answer is no. The karmic energy got turned back around where someone got left in this kind of state here. Okay, because I'm not coming back into this. Okay, so someone could have learned through this and decided not to be contracted with this anymore. And it could have left a masculine feminine energy with their temperance in reverse, like trying to figure out whether they're masculine or feminine. Well, you get different energies. You get karmic masculine. Okay, <clears throat> you get karmic feminine masculine. Okay, have you looked at your chart to see how much masculine and feminine you have in your birth chart i'm a life path seven mine is seven masculine okay um so you've kind of got this i don't know whether i'm like like acting this way or doing that or like is it my mind that's making me do this is it spiritual and adhd and then possible bipolar or is it those that's kind of like and like like incoherent type sort of energy can't find direction here okay it's really what I keep picking up. Nine of Swords. Uh, I hope I will see you again sometime. Five of Pentacles. Someone's just waiting. I've been here before with others and I've already learned the fact that this doesn't work. There's codependency, abandonment. Like, there's just non-existent energy. It's very difficult to find a storyline, to be honest with you. Because all it feels like is loss, okay, and illness and... Not feeling very well, not feeling very good, probably spiritually ill. Maybe could just be, like I said, PTSD. Uh, not PTSD, well, PTSD. Um, like, you know, ADHD, possible bipolar, and it's just like this needing medical help, medical support here. 
But it's kind of like, you know, like I've always said, at some point you have to re have recovered. Because the more you, like, there's a certain energy of teaching where you are in recovery, right? But eventually you have to start telling yourself that you're over it and that you've recovered, okay? But some people can go on for a very long time thinking, no, I need to work on my spiritual healing. I need to work on my spiritual healing. I need to work on my spiritual healing. I'm crazy, <laughs> okay? And then keep going over it and keep going over it and putting so much thoughts of darkness and shit into their head that it just stays in the head, okay? So you're multiplying the energy of abandonment, codependency. Now I, I keep needing to go to therapy, to AA, to NA. Now, that's good if you've only just started NA and AA, but, you know, a drug addict, because <clears throat> I used to be a counsellor, <clears throat> a drug addict that goes and an addict a drug addict or an alcoholic that goes to any of those for like a year or two they get these coins and stuff to say okay i'm abstinent for blah 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 and sometimes that really does work for people okay for me it didn't because the more i kept thinking about it that i have to keep going to all of these meetings and god knows what else i didn't really want to go because i wanted to forget it i just wanted to leave that life behind and just realized that I changed. So I stopped seeing it and I stopped thinking about that I was an addict or that I was an, you know. And I needed to just drop that energy and get it out of my head and just move on with my life, okay. And it wasn't until then when I realized, actually, that process worked. After all the other times of trying shit, that didn't really work the more I was keeping it in my head. The more I actually dropped it and realized, okay, I've just got to stop doing all of this, get on with my life and focus on something positive, did I realise that I start coming out of these energies? Okay. So finding focus here, um, Capricorn. Sorry that your reading has been completely and utterly diabolical, diabolically crap. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with people anyway. I can only really dive into it any deeper because I'm just doing the same amount of cards for everybody. Uh, so if you want to join the full access bundle and tier one, tier one is like $3 for two monthlies. Okay, uh, the full access bundle, weeklies and monthlies, is where we change things up. We do weeklies and monthlies. Some are on here, and some of them you only get over on Patreon. They just change, and then we've also got the teaching tier, where there is so much stuff going on over there. Uh, with loads of different videos about numerology, numbers, patterns and sequences of stuff, of meetings and what time, dark energy, uh, dark empaths, what to be looking out for, okay? Uh, and loads of different stuff, okay? So it's up to you if you want to join. Uh, the links can be found below, and it tells you all about it in the video and everywhere below, okay? Thanks very much, Capricorn. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.